All right, we hit the road again today. We're not in Tennessee anymore, and I'm kind of glad of that because I'm tired of Lake Chickamauga. Can't have nothing around here, man. But look, Hello? check out the bandit. Hey. Hey. That's what I started all in. 12 years old, 13 years old fishing out this thing until we got that. Now we're taking this out. Let's go catch them on my local lake. All right, we're out here now. So, about to rig all the cameras up on this old boat and catch us some, hopefully. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. I'm out of the Sorry. Me. Nice little fish. Home sweet home. Caught so many of these fish out of this lake. He said, you know, he's a dealer. He, he stood up. He was like, all right, y'all see this, right? Y'all figure this right. Hold on. No way I should lose here. <laughs> Pretty one. Ooh. That's what we got down here in Alabama. We don't got them Chickamauga bass. Ate the little frog though. Really? In this clear water? In the clear water? No. Okay. his little spot he probably a one pounder oh yeah. he didn't they like them sprinklers i think moving on the frog we can't see it no way another rookie move little frog bass oh well All right, so real quick, me and Matt, we fishing a tournament here in Alabama today. Gonna be fun. Five or six boats, a bunch of them are my buddies, so we gotta try to whoop up on them real quick, but should be a fun day. We've been fishing for like 24 minutes already, but it's been too dark and we ain't had a bite yet, so stay tuned, we're gonna catch some. I stand corrected. We're going to have to kill him. Spotted bass. I did say on that point, though, you catch spots sometimes. Going to have to kill that one. He ate it like a big enough. Crap. Two, we definitely might have to kill him. You think he's a keeper? I think he might be 11 and a half. He pickerel. He got it too. You see how high he jumped out of the water with it? Need me a bass that long. Don't lift those. Real in the middle though, I don't catch them no more. Oh, both in, gosh. I just looked down and I saw one eat it and I set the hook before I realized it was a both in. That's the only thing I've ever caught in this pocket. 
It's the only pocket I've ever caught a bowfin in. Well, they're in all of them up here. Good one, good one. There we go. There we go. Then came back in the back clue and got us one. You're insane, man. Why? Yeah, we get around that bedroom and catch. <laughs> I called my shot right there, dude. Spotted one. Spotted bass. Oh, back slew. They're biting in here today. I ain't caught him out of the back slew in five years. Where's the ruler at in here? Heck, I threw one back bigger than him earlier. They got desperate now, though. You good. Number three. Three. All right, so we're really struggling out here. We've done everything I normally do this time of year to catch fish and have not caught anything. So we got three, one good one, two little ones. We're about to go gamble. We're gonna go sight fish, look for some cruising around, brim beds and mayflies and stuff like that. See if we can't catch two or three of them. And they're usually the right size. Spotted one. He is not gonna keep. I can't believe we've been trying to keep this thing at 10 o'clock on Lake Harden. He ain't gonna make it. Alright, we're back at home now. We pretty much sucked today, but we did so bad, I'm actually gonna go back tomorrow and fish another tournament on the same lake. So, basically, me and Matt had fun. We ran around the lake a lot. We looked at a lot of stuff. The problem is we didn't catch any fish. What we did should have produced a better result than it produced, but sometimes you get unlucky. I wouldn't really say it was unlucky. We weren't on anything, but I just know the traditional ways where you should catch fish, and it did not work for me today at all. So basically, we scrambled around. We caught one that was on like a three pounder and some little spots. It was not enough to win, but we did win big fish with the one that was almost three pounds. So we'll take that anyways. On to tomorrow. We're gonna need a lot more weight tomorrow. Probably gonna be a lot of boats in it. Well, probably not a lot. Probably gonna be 15 or so boats in it, which probably gonna take 10 and a half, 11 pounds to win. If somebody could catch a five pounder, it could take more. So basically this lake is fishing very, very, very bad right now. But hopefully me and a good buddy of mine gonna go figure it out. So the next video will be me fishing the same lake, but a different tournament. If y'all like seeing Matt in the video, he has his own YouTube channel. He doesn't post very often, but I will link it in the description if you want to check it out. If not, that's fine. But 
as always, leave a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button. This is the house I grew up in from the time I was like, I don't know, 10 years old or something. So, anyways, see y'all later.